territory in the middle of Canada, the prairies. There's a flat area in the south, but a lot of many lakes and rivers in the north, which we call Saskatchewan. How to make a landscape that was not portrayed as empty, not just looking out the window at like one third sky, one third land, one third water. And Lawrence Paul's uh, politicized kind of uh, view of the way land has been used, abused, and, and represented and owned through the uh, dominant, so-called dominant culture of the European and how the native has figured into this, how the indigenous person has figured into this, the, the contentiousness of that work. And in the center room, I've got uh, different members of our culture looking through their binoculars with a sense of desire for the landscape casting shadows on the floor in the gallery, which of course brings about the reading of an ominous sense of desire. You see lots of uh, staircases and ladders and birdhouses on the top and water, water containers. So in many ways, this is a construction. I think the range spoke to not only us as participants as to what, what the land represents for a lot of people in this country, but I think as a way to export that, those aesthetics to give people a kind of a sense of the, the richness of, of uh, the land and the kind of human relationship to the land in Canada. I think that, that has to resonate very, very strongly.